A little bit. Talk on the phone and on my phone to 513. So. Yours says what? Mine says 513 and then the, the official one right there says 513. Oh, now it says, now they say 14. We're getting close. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to call to order the Waukegan City Council's Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting for June 20th, 2022. Time is 5.15 p.m. or 17.15 in military time. Uh, may I have a roll call, please? Alderman Turner. Here. Alderman Seeger. Present. Alderman Bowden. Present. Alderman Kirkwood. Present. Alderman Newsom. Present. Mm -hmm. We have a quorum, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, item B, may we have a motion to approve the minutes from the June 6, 2022 Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting? Motion by Alderman Newsom. Second. Second by Alderman Bolson, Bolton. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passed. Item C, audience time. Is there any member of the audience that would like to address this meeting, this committee meeting? Just state your name for the record, sir. My name is Charles Pitts. Um, I'm wondering if you can do a little bit more about posting information about trees. Okay, we, we're having trouble here. Okay. Um, can you do something about posting information about trees? Because some of them are decayed and there looks like there's one, it's public works. It, those are the people that would come out and, all right. Okay. Yeah, so, Basically, what I'm looking at on Glen Rock near the pawn shop area, there is a tree and it looks like it's dead or decaying and it's hanging 10 to 15 feet into the roadway. Yeah. So now I'm wondering who's liable for that. Well, that would depend on whose tree it is. If it's on private property, obviously the property owner would be. If it's in the parkway, that's that strip of grass between the street and the sidewalk that would belong to the city and a call to public works, we get action on it. So, but we get into, um, they call it uh, public easement laws as to like being able to walk on the sidewalk. So we get in, it gets legally complicated, but I'm wondering, can you do something to make it a little bit more um, the information noticeable if there's a dead tree or something that could possibly fall and kill someone. Are you asking for us to make known what the ordinance is or what applies or to make notice that there is a hazard? Well, I'm looking for the city to put out notices if they see a dead tree or a dying tree that could be a hazard who okay. to call. Got it. I it think would, it would be some maybe because you got all this stuff for the fireworks. It would be something to say, like, if you have a tree that's problematic, um, call this number. Right. I mean, I could I could probably spend a half an hour trying to find it, but I don't know when that tree is going to fall. And I just I haven't gotten around to it. All right. Thank you, Mr. Pitts. Is there anyone else uh, who would like to address the committee meeting? 
Thank you. Yeah, trees. Uh, there is no old business. New business item A. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'd like a motion to adopt a resolution approving a contract with Aircon Refrigeration and Heating for the amount of $2,290,768 for HVAC upgrades for City Hall and Public Works. Is there a motion? We have motions first. Do motions are first or? Yet yeah, normally uh, the appropriate thing to do is to get a motion and a second and then you can have discussion and questions. Yes, sir. Is there a motion? I'm sorry, I'm really having trouble hearing down here. And I can't so see move. the Okay, so Alderman Bolton moves. Or Me. And Newsom seconds. I'm sorry, go, and um, if you will go ahead with your question, uh, Alderman Kirkwood. Yes, my question is in regards to there were two bids and I guess one was incomplete and we just went with this particular bid instead of going out for an additional bid. That's one question. And then the other question is, do we have a regular maintenance program so that with, when this went down, do we have a regular maintenance program that we check just like we do in our homes for the winter, before the summer, we get the air conditioner cleaned out, checked and everything else. Do we have that same process for all the city buildings where we have HVAC situations? So those are my two concerns. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so yeah, there was an inaccurate bid or insufficient bid and uh, Shannon's going to, Cisneros will kind of describe that process and outcomes for you. Thank you. We did have several companies that did the walkthrough at City Hall and Public Works, but there were only two companies that submitted a bid for this. One of them, they didn't submit the bid bond, so it did make their bid incomplete. So we went with the next qualified bidder, which they also submitted a tier two bid because they're a local Waukegan business. What's a tier two? Um, it, it's like they, were there a local business or the minority business, woman owned business, veteran business. Mm -hmm. So they were able to submit a bid for both parts, a normal bid and a tier two because they're local. Great, great, thank you. Yeah, and we do have a maintenance program also. Um, we're checking right now with them to make sure that the new equipment that's gonna be put in, that they're still gonna be able to service that. But we did uh, do a joint purchasing bid with the county to where they're, they'll come and do the startup for the air or the boilers just to check everything out. So routine maintenance and they will also come out for emergency purposes. Great. Thank you very much, Shannon. I have another question. Yes, sir, go ahead. So in, in terms of this bid, this $2 million bid, where does that rank into, so we don't know, does that rank into, so we don't know other companies in terms of what it would have cost us since we, the, the other bid was incomplete, we don't really know if we could have gotten this uh, a little less expensive for $2 million? We required for the, the bid itself, for any bidders that wanted to submit a bid, they had to do a mandatory walkthrough so that they could see the equipment that needed to be replaced or upgraded. And we had about seven or eight companies that did that. And we even did a second walkthrough to give other companies an opportunity to come in but we only got the two bids and the one they didn't submit the bond. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Shannon? Great. Shannon? I've uh, got a question. What manufacturer uh, are we using? Would it be train or carrier? They, they have several different ones that they've listed in the bid just depending on what the equipment is. Because okay. we do have air and heat that they're going to be doing. Thank you. All right. Any other questions or discussion? Okay. If I can have a roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Seeger. Aye. Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Thank you all very much. Item, <clears throat> excuse me, item B, I'd uh, like a motion to adopt a resolution waiving the bidding process 
pursuant to the bona fide emergency exception uh, 2-458 subsection I subsection 2 and authorizing the city to engage Campanella and Sons to perform a sanitary sewer replacement on Oak Street in the amount of $107,868. May I have a motion, please? Alderman, can you say it? I see a hand somewhere. Alderman. Seeger, Alderman Seeger. And I'm sorry, who's the second? Kirkwood. Kirkwood. Thank you, sirs. And are there any questions regards this motion? Uh, Alderman Turner, in terms of this waiving the bidding process, are they the only ones that can do this work? I'm, I'm not hearing you, Alderman Kirkwood. You said, are they the only ones doing the work? Are they the only ones that can do the work? No, they're not. We, we had two, uh, we had another company do a bid on it because we just went out to get two quotes but we didn't want to run the risk of the whole road starting to cave in on us. We already had one uh, Pacific area of the road cave in by a homeowner and that homeowner had uh, flooded out. So it was a matter of, okay, let's get this done before we lose the whole road. All right, so this is an emergency situation is yeah. what we're talking about. Okay, okay, not a problem. 300 and some odd feet, yes. Okay. And, and just to, to clarify for the public because we use a lot of different terms up here. Um, when we talk about competitive bidding, that means competitive seal bidding in most cases. In other words, um, you put out specifications, you say we need this many feet um, of road repairs um, or sewer line repairs, and they come back and they submit um, bids in an envelope um, that are not viewed until a specific opening. There are times, especially with emergencies, where you don't have time to do a full competitive bid. Um, instead, you solicit as many quote, quotes as you can, and although the numbers may be the same as you would get in a competitive bid, it is a much less formal process, um, but Public Works and every other department, even in cases where they don't have time to do a full competitive bidding process, they will always seek out as many um, quotes as they possibly can. Great, thank you, Mr. Counselor. All right, if there are no other uh, questions, I'd like a roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Seeger. Aye. Alderman Bowden. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Thank you. And uh, that is the end of new business. There will be no reports or communications. Um, motion for adjournment, please. Can I have a motion? Motion by Alderman Newsom, second by Alderman Kirkwood. And all in favor, aye. 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 Thank you all. We are adjourned at uh, 526 p.m. Thank you, everybody.